And action. And action. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. So we've got something a little bit different today. I'm with Mr. I'm with Mr. Pritchard off of uh, YouTube fame. Hmm. We're in, where are we? We're in Mansfield, no, not Mansfield. No, Derbyshire. Derbyshire, we're in Derbyshire. No, actually, it'd be Nottinghamshire, sorry. Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire, somewhere around there. This is the Robin Hood County, isn't it? Yeah, Sherwood Pines. So we're off to find, uh, we're in Sherwood Pines, we're off to find Robin Hood. I've got my mountain bike, Chris has hired himself one. Chris, when was the last time you rode a mountain bike? I think I worked it out six or seven years ago. <laughs> anyway, the reason we have got the mountain bike today is because we have got, I wonder if Victor can like make some flames come off this. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, the brand new Wahoo Element Roam. This thing gets announced today. And uh, yeah, so this is the unit right here. It's similar kind of style to the Element Bolt, but it's a little bit bigger and it kind of has a little bit of a sleeker design, I feel. This isn't a paid review. This isn't actually even my uh, Wahoo Roam. We've just been supplied it for the day for me and Chris to both uh, check out and test out. So. You know, everyone's 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 doing road bike reviews, so we're gonna take it on the mountain bike trails. Oh! Brody's gone mountain biking. So guys, I think the idea is the plan is we're gonna uh, we're gonna take the new roam out around the Sherwood Pines Red Trail, just like a cross country mountain bike trail. Have a ride with it for an hour or two, and then uh, go and find a cafe somewhere and kind of give our Give her our initial thoughts and, and talk a little bit about the unit. Which way, boss man? Well, I think it's this way, so there's two arrows. One's pointing one way, one's pointing the other. Oh, I just, I don't know, flip a coin. <laughs> Wait, no, the Kitcher Trail, red. This one said it's difficult. I don't know if you're up to that, mate. <laughs> All right, so first off the bat, we've done about three minutes and it's- uh, Already tired. <laughs> yeah, but we're already out of breath. <laughs> and I'm too hot now. We're both flagging, but now nah, it's got a, uh, Pretty cool feature that comes as standard with the uh, with the Wahoo Roam. We're just following the mountain bike trail. So it's not not only has it got roads, it's also got mountain bike trails. So when you just when you're in the woods, it just makes it that easy to follow. And also, I'm not sure if it's got like an updated satellite or something, but the auto pause feature is really really good. Previously with GPS units, when you're in the trees and stuff, the satellite signal's not that great, so it doesn't auto pause. Whereas so far we've stopped a couple of times and it's it's auto paused. How are you feeling, Chris? Good. So do it. Let's continue. So we're going to take off the bolt, put on the new Element Roam. And in terms of the user interface between the two devices, it seems pretty similar. You know, we got a we got a standard page there with all our data fields that we can customize via the app, terrain, how much climbing we've been doing, and then finally the map. Alrighty. Let's see what it's all about. guys so the mount on this element roam we've got the out front mount with us on chris's bike and mine has got the bar the bar top mount and much like on the element bolt it's a real solid mount like we've been jumping off roots and down little drops and over the bumper terrain and the device is, and the wahoo has not moved an inch Fun 
I think Chris has fallen. Where's Chris gone? <laughs> Did you fall off? I almost shot it. I just almost shot it, but then I couldn't clip in, so I missed the, uh, the big drop. <laughs> Over the rocks! Whee! Go on Chris, you can take the lead and show us show the GoPro your skills. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa! You got so high then! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. <Back on> the <laughs> we're off we're off roading Chris. <laughs> off rooting. This is Danny Hart. <laughs> For his World Championship final run. Danny Hart through the first time, JK, six seconds quicker! Danny Hart! Danny Hart is on the run of his life here! All right, and that is the finish of the Kitcher Trail, Sherwood Pines. Oh, how was that? That was hard work, man. Two things I can conclude from that. A, how much fun cross-country mountain biking is, and B, how hard it is. It was stupid. That was supposed to be an easy ride. That's far from easy. So we just offer the mountain bikes? Yep. What's the plan now? Uh, go and find a cafe on our road bikes, I think. So is that what we're going to use the, the Roam for? We're actually going to... Yeah, so you can connect you connect to your phone via the Wahoo Element app and then from the app I think you can search like local points of interest. So we're going to, we're literally just going to put in cafe and see where it's going to take us to. Boom. And hopefully if it's, uh, if, if it works correctly it's going to take us to the closest cafe. Because after an hour around Sherwood Pines I don't fancy riding too far right now. That was supposed to be an easy morning you know, after my crash, to loosen up a little bit. But it's uh, not. That was far from easy. We've got the roam, and we connect it to the Element app. You do this via Bluetooth, it's a dead simple process. Uh, that's the route that we've done today. But what you can also do is, uh, you can click create. Can you see that? Create route. So basically, we click on uh, take me to. We can search at the top there. Why don't we just search for Edwin Stowe and head into Edwin Stowe? All right. Maybe it's because we've got no internet out here. This is what everyone does when they don't when they don't get phone service because that that, that that one foot of difference is going to make all oh, the actually, difference. Yeah, come up. Well, there we go. Okay, so we found it. The next the next village along is called Edwinstone. There's a few cafes there, so we just searched on the uh, on the app. Edwinstone Village Hall. You can't go wrong with the village hall. So we're going to click select route. We've got the route loaded there. There she is. Boom. Boom. Let's follow. Let's follow the route to Ed. Where we're going to talk a little bit more about the roam and the features and the new things that are different to the <coughs> bolt and <coughs> let's ride so obviously the screen on the roam is much bigger than on the bolt which i'm not too sure what i think of i quite like having a small screen especially when i'm racing but certainly for the maps feature it uh it just makes it it just seems a little bit sharper and a lot, much more clear so chris chris brought me a coffee on the way here so I guess the coffee's on me when we stop at the cafe. Definitely. No cake though. Yes, cake. <laughs> I'm having cake. Chris's having cake. We found a lovely little cafe. Hello everybody. Welcome to Edwin's still. Here. We found the cafe. <laughs> We're going to go inside this door now and this door. This is old Robin Hood. Yeah. Made it. Robin Hood made this door. Made it, yeah. This metal handle he made it. <laughs> Come on in. All right, so without trying to make this sound like a complete ad, We've, uh, we've tested, this isn't gonna be a review by any stretch of the imagination, it's more of a first look at the uh, the new Wahoo. Did you see that? Did oh, you see catch. that? The reactions on the boy. Like yeah, this, this is more of a first look at the uh, the Element Roam. First off the bat, it's, it's, it's a little bit bigger than, than the Bolt like you've seen in the video already this, this, this morning. But it seems to me like the user interface that the Bolt has is very similar to the one in the Roam. So it all kind of feels the same. Uh, you have like the three buttons along the bottom here, 
the power button on the left hand side and then two buttons to zoom in and out on the on the right hand side which is which is the exact same as the element bolt and it, it's still not a touch screen uh, computer which I actually think is better I don't think bike computers should have the, the touch screen feature because a lot of the time when it's raining uh, with, with other brands it, you know the touch screen feature doesn't doesn't work very well or it starts to freeze and glitch out it's just not a, it's just not necessarily needed in, in, in GPS computers in my humble opinion but the Rome has a 17 hour battery life it still has it still has the kicker controls if you've got a, a any of the, the Wahoo smart trainers at home uh, you can connect it to to your computer and you can control the resistance and, and the power output via this and you like not so you don't need the phone app or you don't need Zwift or whatever you can just you can do it all via via the computer which I feel like which is good when you're doing like intervals and stuff now the one difference this one this the new Rome has the maps feature kind of a little subtle change but it's a nice change the maps are now in color so um, yeah it just makes it a little bit nicer to look at it's also bigger when you I do like smaller computers just for racing and stuff they kind of just out of the way all I want to see when I'm racing is my power my time my distance I don't need a lot of data when I'm racing but just for kind of riding around and exploring and, and trail riding like we're doing today having a bigger screen for the maps this is a 2.7 inch display screen I just knew that off my head mate and having the colors there as well it just makes it a lot easier to read especially when you're following the route like we just did riding from the trail center down to this cafe and the final thing I want to mention about the uh, the Wahoo Rome is the price point it costs 299 pounds and 99 pence what's your opinion on that I feel like that's quite expensive I think one of the benefits of the the bolt, what, 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 like what attracted me to the bolt was the price difference between that and comp like you know Garmin's. They they were a bit for for the like for like equivalents. The Wahoo's have always been a bit cheaper. Whereas I feel like now, maybe it's a case of Wahoo have gained that market share, and now they're starting to put the prices up to be in line with with the Garmin's. But you know, three hundred pounds for a computer is a lot of money. All right, you Chris, anything you want to add? Subscribe to my channel. All right, so that's, all right so that's it we're done we're mm -hmm. all done make sure you check us out at 4 p.m every monday till next time peace that's not the end of the vlog all right oh, what i was gonna say chris before you really interrupt me was that's the mountain bike segment of today's vlog done that's the cafe ride segment of today's vlog done what are you gonna when we go home now what, what are you gonna be doing for the rest of your day chris um i'm going to um take the roam out and ride myself for a quick hour oh i thought i thought you're gonna say you're gonna go home and do nothing but... oh because what I was going to say, go I was home I, and do nothing. Yes, I'm so I'm going to go home and, and actually train now. Well, I am. I've got Toro Watopia tonight, big boy. <laughs> oh, I ride Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Chris. Bye, Cam. <laughs> okay, so to give you guys a little bit of an update, it's now 6:45. There's a horse. We're back at Monica's house. Um, where I, where me and Chris met today, it was much much closer to where Monica lives than I live, so. It made sense to stay at her house and go from hers. Uh, and yeah, so right now we're back at hers. And I'm back on the bike, getting the uh, the training portion of today's riding in, I guess. We're gonna head towards the hills, into the peaks a little, a little bit. So this session is a short, sharp one. It's consisting right now of a 20 minute easy warm up, And then the bulk of it's gonna be one hour pressing on a little bit of gas with a 20 second sprint every five minutes. Next week starts the tour series, which as I mentioned in the vlog, is a series of one hour crits around the UK, around different city centers. So today is a training session kind of targeted to that. So I've currently done 16 minutes, four, four more minutes of my warm up left. And then we're gonna get into the session. So I'm gonna put the camera away, understandably I think. And I'll see you on the other side of this, uh, this one hour. <laughs> Holy macaroni oh my god i finished i finished the one hour effort in the top of the hill so i'm just gonna crest over the top now literally finish right at the top this is it this is the this is the top of the hill mon's house is like the other side of this down here somewhere so basically the whole way the whole way home is like this yeah thankfully we just got like literally i don't know 15 minutes of all all downhill all the way home, so that's sick. But what a view, guys. I mean, it's a little bit misty. The clouds are moving in right now, but I mean, that is pretty incredible, right? The time is now 10 past eight. 
The roads are just dead. All right, I've just stopped here on the descent back down, back down to Macclesfield right there. What a view to end the ride, man. What a view to end the day. The road is dead, everyone's gone home. The sun is going down behind the clouds right there, so I'm gonna crack on and get home. But guys, that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment down below. I'm always in the comment section replying to the, replying to the messages, so yeah. With that being said, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow at 4pm. Peace!